You have no authority. None. Mexico City. What were you doing there? I was taking some overdue holiday. So what's going on, James? They say you're finished. What do you think? I think you're just getting started. Magnificent, isn't she? Zero to 60 in 3.2 seconds. A few little tricks up her sleeve. Do one more thing for me. What do you have in mind? Make me disappear. I think the end of Skyfall, as sad as it was, was a new beginning. And, you know, having uh, Rafe come and his M and sort of say, look, we've got a lot of work to do. It sort of felt like a new... Um, an opportunity to sort of... Um, look at it in, with fresh eyes. Um, um, so I think he's, uh, you know, I think he's enjoying life. He's got, he, he's still got a, uh, a mission in his own head that he needs to sort of see through. He's got a hunch about a number of things and uh, he wants to, you know, whether he's allowed to or given permission to or not, he wants to go and uh, he wants to sort of act upon it. Tell me where he is. He's everywhere. You should go there. You're crossing over to a place where there is no mercy. You're protecting someone. Get away from me! Why should I trust you? Because right now, I'm your best chance of staying alive. This organization... Do you know what it's called? Its name is Spectre. She's a, a doctor. She's a, she's a strong woman, uh, intelligent, um, independent, and, um, and she doesn't want to do anything with Bond. So, um, yeah, she's not, when she meets Bond for the first time, she's not impressed. Well, I can tell you that I don't trust you. Well, then you have impeccable instincts. If you don't leave now, We'll die together. I can think of worse ways to go. She first meets Bond. She doesn't trust him because she comes from a world where men have the only power. But uh, when the chemistry, the attraction between them takes place and she feels, she realizes her feminine power on him, then she trusts him to save her. And, um, and some way between Bond and Lucia, there is a commitment. He gets, he gets her out of Italy, he saves her, and uh, she gives him the information he needs. And they find uh, an interesting way to sign the contract. Is this really what you want? Living in the shadows? Hunting? Being hunted? Always alone? The reasons I'm doing the second, a second Bond movie, the reasons I would do any movie really, which is all to do with the story. Um, <clears throat> if it's a story you feel like you, you have to tell, um, then you end up doing it really. Um, and that's what's happened here. It's partly that I felt a kind of ownership of the characters a little bit uh, from Skyfall. So I felt like, you know, I'd initiated Rafe as M and uh, Naomi as Money Penny and Ben Whishaw as Q, and I wanted to tell their stories, the next stage of their stories, really, because you spend so much time in Skyfall just setting them up as characters. Um, but this movie takes them into um, further into their own stories and and uh, develops them as characters much much more. Information is all, is it not? For example. You must know by now that the double O program is officially dead. <laughs> Which leads me to speculate exactly why you came. So, James, why did you come? I came here to kill you. And I thought you came here to die. We just got very lucky that Christoph wanted to get involved and embrace it the way he did. Um, so, um... Yeah, there's a there's a there's a great sort of bit of history with the two, the two of them. But um, 
both sort of within the story, but also sort of in the context of Bond movies. Welcome, James. You came across me so many times, yet you never saw me. What took you so long? It's a joy to come to work. Not that it's always a, 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 a torture to, to do other things, but there is really, you can feel the difference that it is you know, the whole family, they all have their jobs and their function in the clockwork. And, and so you, or at least I felt I have my function and you know, that, that's what I do. Most of my scenes, I mean, all of them are with Daniel and Christoph, two great actors. And uh, it was, um, I mean, first of all, it's so nice to work with such great actors. I mean, they're, they're so detailed and um, so subtle, so it's it was um, really um, enjoyable. Of course, to work with Sam Bandas is is amazing because Sam he knows what he wants and he protects the actors. At the same time, you, as an actor, you feel free to talk about your character, what do you, how you see your character, and he's ready to listening. And um, and so the atmosphere and the energy on set is, is really easy. I felt with Skyfall that I had quite a lot to prove, a lot to prove to myself that I could do it and that there were big challenges within it, technical challenges. So I felt very um, protective of my ideas and sort of uh, single-minded. Uh, and I think that the process of making it, because of what was happening to Bond as a character, because he was on the back foot the whole time, because he was sort of haunted and hunted and you know, uh, injured and drinking and all of those things and, and aging and everyone was telling him he was getting old and he should finish. It was quite a grim experience making it. I don't mean it was, it was without joy, but it, it felt very dark, it was very heavy, every scene was very heavy. This has felt harder physically because of all the things I specified, because how many locations, you know, the days, you know, the scale of it, but it's been much more fun. Ah, 007. Q. Please excuse the mess. Everything's a little bit up in the air, but with the changes and all. A couple of things to get through. Shall we get started? Everybody had a desire to do a, a bigger and better movie, and everybody started pushing each other. And Sam would, would I think, agree with me that he, was, he allowed all of them in very early on because he wanted their input. And I think, uh, I think uh, once that started to happen, we suddenly felt, OK, we've got something. We, can, we know we, can, we, we were getting a story, which was the important thing. But the, um, the desire to make it, to go to more places, to get more uh, texture and colour and, 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 and uh, atmosphere into the movie more than we'd had in Skyfall because we were quite, you know, London-based, uh, which was nothing wrong. It's, you know, it's great, it's great that it was, though it was. We wanted to sort of expand it, explode it, and, and, that, and that, once that started to happen, we stopped thinking about Skyfall. We started thinking about this. I think it's going to be, um, they're going to be surprised by the film. And uh, it has like all we used to love from the, preview, the previous Bond films, and, but it's new at the same time. It's more, uh, there's more, yeah, it's more, it's darker, it's, um, it's um, more complex, even like uh, Daniel as Bond is more tangible and uh, we really have, I think, empathy for him. Yeah.